Alright guys, we are working on our tower defense game again. This time we are going to be adding a path to our tower defense game that allows the balloons to travel from one end to the other. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on our level 2D node up here in the top. Level 1 level one node, it's a 2D node. We're going to hit the plus sign and we are going to add a path 2D node. Create. Now at the top middle some new buttons appeared. We're going to use this green plus sign to add in some uh, points to our line here. So one, two, and I'm just gonna make the path follow um, our road here. <clears throat> so there we go. I have a note. I have a line that follows this. Now, as you're putting the the nodes in, you'll see that it creates this box, and the box kind of gets in the way a little bit, but it creates a path, and that's where we're going to. That's where the balloons they're gonna follow that path to the end. Now we need to attach a follower node to this to this path so we're going to click on our path 2d node and we are going to add a path follower 2d create now a path follower or a path follower 2d what it, it just follows the point on the line and it moves around it with time or I mean depending on how you program it I suppose now we are going to add a picture to show us where that follower is and so that's going to be a sprite that's what we're going to add to this now under the sprites folder here I have a balloon and I'm going to drag and drop this blue balloon into my sprite folder or into my texture here so now I have a balloon and we are going to need to add some code onto the path 2D node to make it where the follower will actually follow the path all the way to the end. So let's hit this plus sign here, or let's add a script to it. It's a scroll with a plus sign. Hit create. And now we're here where we need to type our code in. If you go to Neo, you will find this tower defense I don't know why it likes to do that you're going to find this tower defense stuff and here is a path 2d node this is the code for the path 2d so let's take a look at this we're going to copy this section here extends path 2d that tells you what parts you're actually supposed to be programming so I'm copying this code and I'm going to paste it, paste it here onto my path 2D node. Paste. Now let's take a look at this code. So line three here says, on variable, on ready variable follow is equal to get node follow. So this get node over here, what it does is it's looking for something in this um, little na in this scene window over here. I do not have something labeled follow. So we're going to need to change the name of our follower. We're going to change this to follow to match that. So now I have one. Now it knows what to look for. It's looking for this follower node. So I'm matching that. And right here, this is what gives it its speed. It wants it to, um, this is changing its offset and it's adding 45 uh, pixels. Um, every time the game goes through, I, I believe that's how it works. Anyway, so but this is the this is the speed of how quickly it's moving through uh, our path here. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm saving with Control S, and let's use the director symbol here to see what happens with our game. We have our path, and there is our balloon. It is floating down the path and what happens when it gets to the edge here it 
turns and it goes to the next one. Alright, so our balloon is going a little slow and I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to change this number here from 45 to 90 and let's push this button again and see it should have sped it should speed him up a little bit yep there we go that's a little bit better and you can choose different speeds for your um, balloons and all kinds of stuff like that but okay so now I also don't want it to turn like it is I want I'm gonna have the balloon just stay f uh, facing one direction and not turn when it's following the path so if you'll select the follow node over here on the right you have one that says rotate let's turn that off and let's give that a go let's see what that does for us here our balloon is staying facing one direction and it doesn't turn but the balloon is not facing up and down so let's rotate that sprite so I'm gonna come over here to the sprite I'm going to go to the transform here and then it says rotate. I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees. Oops. So it's rotated by 90 degrees. Let's try it out now and see what it looks like. Our balloon is now facing the correct direction. And when it goes around the corner, it stays facing that same direction and it just keeps on going. So that looks pretty good. Alright, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.